Hey, this is Seth with In Demand Career. I show people how to get jobs in digital marketing with no previous experience or education. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about how to never have to worry about getting a job ever again. And the answer is very, very simple, guys. Get skills that employers need. That's it. That's the solution that is not taught in any school at all. It's amazing to me the amount of time and energy that is wasted. Young people's incredible zest for life, your incredible learning ability, your incredible level of energy is being wasted in school on these crazy topics and tests and memorization. And they don't take one semester to set you aside and say, hey, listen, guys, when you get out of school, these are the skill sets that employers actually need for their businesses that will make you money to support yourself when you get out. So just, hey, it's cool. We know that you should be spending 10 years learning biology and chemistry, even though you're never going to actually work in those fields. And um, you should definitely spend a lot of time memorizing historical facts about, uh, you know, the silver trade in the 17th century. That's really important. We know that's that's really important. You should spend 10, 12, 16 years on that. But we're going to take a semester to just show you about these skills. Just because, you know, it would be nice to make a little bit of money when you get out of school, right? I mean, this thing called money, eh, it's mm, somewhat important. But they, they don't do that. And I was inspired to make this video because one of my students, Jamaris, wrote me this message that really touched my heart. Because he said, basically, he was working a remote digital marketing job and he got laid off during COVID. And then in a month, he got another job because he used the skills he had and learned from my course. And that just excited me. It made me feel great. I was just thinking about how powerful it is in life when you have these skills. And again, it doesn't have to be digital marketing. You could research other skills, like I mentioned in my other video. You could be a bookkeeper. You could do, be a loan signing agent. You could do coding, web development, cybersecurity. All these skills that actually companies are looking for right now. And stay tuned into those skills you know these skill sets have grown and changed over many years one second there's a loud truck going by there seem to be some issues with mufflers in this part of the, the hemisphere um but you know you you do have to just simply you know most 99 percent of the population is is obsessed when they're younger the parents everyone's obsessed with getting into college picking a major they have no simple practical common sense <laughs> Um, interest in skill sets. So if you just go on LinkedIn, go on Google, listen to videos by people like me and say, like, hey guys, this is what employers need right now. And in five to 10 years, it might be different. So you, you get a new skill set. I think for many of these skills like digital marketing, it's just gonna keep getting more and more of a demand because the internet keeps growing, more and more businesses are going digital and the need is still there because, because everybody and their mother in college and every family in the middle class is pressuring their kid to go to college and get a degree and they're not learning these skills. You know, there was an article about how there's like 6 million skilled trade jobs in the US that were empty. This was like two years ago. That goes everything from like stuff that has like electrician to, um, you know, elevator repair to skilled trades. You know, these are things that, you know, it's a mixture of kind of like science mixed with hands-on work, but nobody's taking these jobs because everybody's going to college and learning a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> so this is true. This is the same reason why people are able to get these digital marketing jobs because the employers cannot find enough people. So you find an in-demand skill, get the skill, practice, build your resume and get experience. And then you'll have a time uh, experience like Jamaris where you have the confidence of knowing that you have something that's needed and you don't have to worry about getting a job that much. And when I say worry, guys, I know what it's like. So, you know, just to share my story again, when I was, before I got into digital marketing, before I was able to live in a place like Thailand, before I worked and made six figures uh, managing Google ads, I was like everybody else. I was an art school graduate with my fancy degree and I had no skills that anybody needed. Actually, here's something also you need to stay tuned in. Back then I was, a, I knew video editing. But that was this was 20 years before video editing was actually worth something because of all the videos on the internet and businesses using video. In the 90s, it wasn't that powerful of a skill set. But I'm walking around with like my college degree and my essays that I wrote in college about this book or that movie. 
it was just just not relevant to life. <laughs> and so I went through my 20s with such incredible worry and stress every day guys. I mean, I felt like a failure. I felt like a screw up because I had this, this bullshit idea that I would like to free you guys of. There's this idea out there still that you're that somehow if you go to college, you're going to be successful. And then if you're not, it's somehow your fault. And I'm here to tell you guys, it's actually not. Okay. And it's, it's not like says the colleges and the entire system is set up with just, it's just, um, it's a bunch of false and inaccurate information and expectations. And they're not providing you with the value that they should be for the tuition that they're charging. Um, and it's very painful for people who've paid this much money, learned all this nonsense, somehow thought it was going to lead to success, and then to come out with not only no prospects, no skills, no hope, but then also all the debt. And so I spent like 10 years in this funk because... I couldn't simply figure out a way to support myself that was somewhat enjoyable um, and just manageable. You know, I was always worried about which job I could get next. All I could, the only jobs I could really get were like data entry or filing things in an office or waiting tables or delivering pizza. I, I couldn't, I didn't know about and I couldn't get anything that even paid more than the amount of money that was required for me to pay my living expenses and, you know, have some money for recreation and a little bit of savings and paying off my loans. Um, and when I got my digital marketing skills, everything changed. You know, I, I didn't make a lot of money in the beginning, but after a year I leveled up, I leveled up. And then in three years, I'm making six figures. Not only that, I'm being recruited. I got recruited from one job to another. I actually jumped over to another company and you know, and now I'm an entrepreneur. I work for myself. I help other people do this. But for myself and my students, because we have this skill, our experience is very different than most people. Um, you know, we have the experience of knowing that we could move, making a choice to change uh, from one company to another. Like Nick in that great video where he talks about he, he didn't feel like he was getting what he deserved at this one company. So he quit during COVID and got a better job because the skill was in is in demand. And that's it. That experience of life is what I would like you guys to have, whether you work in digital marketing or some other in-demand field. It's just humanizing, <laughs> you know? One more motorbike. It's humanizing, you know, you... To, to, to spend your, you know, years of your life with this worry because you've spent all this, wasted all this time studying non-relevant things is really stressful. And there's just so much confidence and so much peace and relaxation and enjoyment in life when you at least have at least one of these skills that you know that you can, you can really fall back on. You're not going to fall back on your degree. I mean, it's like falling off a cliff. But if you have a skill set that's in, in demand, spend the time, spend the money, invest, learn it, practice it, be patient, and you will start getting results. You know, I was thinking of people I know who do bookkeeping or people like my buddy who is a loan signing agent. And it's like, you know, he was always able to, when he put his focus on it, like, you know, he didn't just sit on his butt and not do anything. You have to, you have to be proactive and obviously you have to get clients and you have to work at it. But he would just basically be like, he'd work on one of his projects, remember? And then one week he'd be like, yeah, I got to make some money. I'm going to do some notaries. Boom. Some, some, you know, real estate notaries again, not $15 notaries. And then he'd make a bunch of money and then he'd have the free time to do what he wanted. And he didn't worry about it because people are always buying houses even in a pandemic and they need notaries to you know notarize all the legal documents and bookkeeping people always need bookkeeping whether their business is making money or not people are always going to need digital marketers digitally people always need to sell and advertise products and services across the board you know as long as the web is a thing people are always going to need web developers and people who know how to code and build apps People are gonna need marketers who know how to analyze data to improve performance. As long as there's hackers out there, people are gonna need cybersecurity. So look into what is needed and get those skills, guys. And you can get them online for much cheaper than wasting them in a university. And then, then take action. And then you can walk around life in your 20s and 30s like so many of my students. I'm so proud of them and I'm so excited that they'll never have to deal, <laughs> they'll never have to deal with that kind of worry and insecurity. So I hope this has been helpful to you guys. 
Uh, please leave comments and questions below, and I will see you in the next video.